Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's amazing space colony adventure extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we have been at this for about 409 cycles. Last time we managed to bust through to the top of what we're going to call space out here. And now I'm going to restrict the access. The reason I'm going to restrict the access is my duplicates have been coming up and grabbing some of these materials up here, which was actually the purpose when we were here last time. We needed gold and this was literally the only source of gold gold for us on this world uh, but you can see that the materials over here are coming down at quite a scorching hot temperature the uh, duplicates have already brought quite a fair bit of it down and put it into this storage bin over here where you can see the temperature has been shared out equally amongst all of these and so far we're not at too high a temperature but that's 66 well, that's going to cause troubles at some point, but until it does, we're going to stop the flow of um, new materials coming from up top, so we don't have to worry about that too much. The thing that I want to worry about today is you may remember that I was digging out space over here to start thinking about moving down, moving our duplicates off to a new area where we can keep everything nice and centralized, only have one way in and out of the base. Well, today is that day. We're going to do this. We're going to dig all this out. I'm not sure about this stuff back here. We can, we can leave this here as sort of a thermal insulation. I'm a little bit worried about where that ethanol is going to go but as you can see i have put down some barriers here so we can just store it up uh, in this little area down below and uh, and deal with that like that what else is going on around the base at the moment i don't know i think now is a good time to just kind of uh, cruise around we can see that mimi is incredibly stressed i'm not sure what's happened to make her so stressed uh, it is definitely a thing that is going on but today uh we just going to have a bit of a look around and see how everyone is doing. Just make sure everyone's doing incredibly well. The fact that it is downtime right now means that everybody is here. I think we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There, there he is, Mad Frank, coming in over there. Beautiful, beautiful. Fact that we seem to have a hatch in here. That's a little bit of a problem. We're going to wrangle him up tomorrow. Someone will uh, decipher, in fact, will probably make his way down here and fix this issue. The fact that we've got this going on also means that we've got a bit of a problem. It should be above. What? Mm -mm -mm. I'm not sure what's going on here. Let's uh, let's say, hey, if above zero, as I think you're supposed to be, you should open, right? Let's uh, let's have a look at the overlay and see what we're doing. Okay, so we're actually waiting for this to go up by one more number. That's what's going on there. Okay, fair enough. This is something we can deal with. Uh, also, I'd like to wrangle this guy up. He's in the wrong hatchery. We want these guys over. No! We need some more liquids down here. Oh, that that's a problem. Are we going to be able to attack through the wall? I don't know. We're going to find out, though. We're going to find out. And um, then I think we need to figure out how we're going to get some more liquids down here. We can't build that there. <sighs> Maybe build a tile. Oh, it says we can build it there, but I don't think it will work. I'll just make a mess. I'll just make a mess. It'll be fine. We'll figure it out. No problem. For the next cycle, I am going to change the automation up here a little bit. This uh, Aqua Tuna, whilst made out of gold, does still have a top value to its overheat temperature. So we want to make sure that that is never broached. So I've come over here. I have put this temperature probe, which was going to be controlling the backflow. But then I realized that that was actually an archaic overhang from an old design that is no longer needed anymore. So we're going to use the thermo sensor to control this AND gate. Which means that if the liquid going in is warm enough to be chilled and the steam in here is not over a certain temperature, then the aqua tuna can turn on. And I think that's how we're going to do it. I think that's the winner there. I know this means that we're going to be running the steam generator underneath its optimum 200 degrees or whatever it is that is actually like super optimum. But we're just we're just going to have to live with that. We don't have any space age technology, so that that's just our lives now. I'm also going to put one of these here just to kind of minimize this steam loss that we keep having every time we walk out the door. Oh, Miss is complaining about the temperature. That's a weird thing. All right, body temperature 37 degrees. I wonder what that's affected by. Okay, so this looks to be going okay. Uh, I see we've got a change per second environmental exchange. I mean, what what's the what's What's the suit doing for us there? That's what I need to know. Does, does it tell us anywhere what the suit difference is? I'm not seeing it, unfortunately. Okay, our boy Shroudka's coming on in and hopefully doing the AM gate. This is what we've been waiting for. It says over here that he is going to go construct that. Uh, you can see we've got the nice little white line working its way down there. Shroudka's unfortunately doesn't appear to have the uh, exosuit uh, training, the skill set. So he's walking a little bit slower than some people would. But to be honest... He's our chef. I'm not really sure what he's doing here. But, you know, I, I will be fine with that. I, we're going to live with it. Obviously, there just must not be enough food. And and he's gone. And, and he's gone. All right, bye. 
I mean, I was just saying how Stratocus has other things to be getting on with, and man, Frank is the man that we want to be doing the, the building. He does it at twice the speed of most other duplicates that we have. He's got that that love of the build. Oh, hey, Jelly, are you coming, coming on in here as well, are you? That's uh, an interesting scenario, but cool. Okay, so now that we've got this up and running, it should be fine for us, right? I want that below that temperature, uh, and now we both should be running. Let's have a look at the overlay. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Missed a bit of wire. Okay, we're waiting on the delivery of the iron for that wire, and obviously this means that we're having trouble getting people in to grab the iron and come back out. Seems to be working this time, though. Mimi appears to have a variety of suits to choose from. I'm not sure what caused everyone to come straight back inside about three-quarters of the way through the day. Maybe two-thirds of the way through the day. But I am glad it happened. And look, we're all on our way back out again. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, more water. Why is Miss doing the water? I just don't. Let's go and check the priorities. Uh, supplying. Miss is, like, proper minus, but there we go a loads of other people have it on the plus but mm. whilst we're here let's check the blueprint shall we what can we get oh yeah i'll take some plastic thanks all right mimi bringing the final piece along which should make this a fully autonomous situation here we should be able to uh, just leave this now uh hopefully we won't have any overheat this will be producing a little bit of heat but it should be a situation that is more than manageable given like you know we've got some active cooling going on right here cooling itself I'm not sure quite how that would work, but uh, it, they probably will, right? I'm going to try mopping this lot up and see if all this water gets picked up. That would be, that would be nice. That would be nice. Uh, really need some way of dealing with this as well, but we'll, we'll figure that out. So the automation appears to be doing wonders. Right now it is set up uh, to, to roll. The water coming in is too hot and the, uh, the, the, water, the steam inside the chamber is not hot enough. So we've got a good... Uh, good exchange going on. Let's just take a moment looking at the temperatures coming out of here. We've got some fairly cold temperatures. I'm a little bit worried about that. Uh, the fact that these are kind of like sharing their temperatures around by like this this little blob breaking up here. I'm not sure whether that is actually a mixing system or not. Is, is that something going on? I would... I would very much like that to be the case if it is, but if not, you know, that's also cool. Oh, we got some seven degree water there. Where is it going? It's going up and around. Okay, okay. Hopefully it will just be cool. Everybody be cool. I might need to change the buffer length. I think that's something that's going on here. We got it on three at the moment. I think we actually just want it on one. Okay, we appear to have a wide range of temperatures here, and that's a little bit worrying. In fact, that's very worrying. Of course, if uh, something comes out of here too cold, it will freeze in the pipe and destroy my pipe. Now, that's not too bad uh, right here because duplicates can get down and underneath. Oh, look, the mop worked. They, uh, they, they popped the popped the seal and it all fell through. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, but yeah, it, if it goes through, it will definitely have a bit of a problem. I was trying to actually look at the polluted water, if at all possible. Thank you. Uh, we can get down to minus 20 with it, so we should, should be okay. Oh, no, there's some minus numbers there already. Ah, what if the buffer gate is wrong? Let, let's try turning this down even further okay so we we actually have turning on and off going on here beautiful is this actual power shortage this can't be the case surely no we've got batteries power up there Ooh. okay so we've just watched this drop below temperature where the, all the uh all the liquids coming through here are nice and chilled yeah and it's going up and down as this mechanicized airlock mecha mechanicized airlock opens i can never say that word properly uh, so that's pretty cool, but we've got all this filled up, and it, it really is a situation where these gas reservoirs are just, they're so rubbish, I don't know what to do about them, they've got, they can only hold, look, 150 kilograms, but let's just click on this box, there's 11, uh, this tile, sorry, there's 11 kilograms up there, let alone if we come down where there's like, you know, actual serious numbers, 20 kilograms here. I mean, if we count this up to... Oh, I need, a, I need a way of seeing how many tiles are here, here. Yeah, so if we overpressurize this, so there's 15, 15 squares here, 15 tiles, which, you know, at 10 kilograms a tile could possibly work out, but we, we can definitely overpressurize at least to 20 kilograms looking down here, but we could definitely overpressurize a lot heavier than that. Uh, we might just need to shut this door, put down a heavy vent, and... and just keep making the area bigger, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to end up with a massive overpressurized zone there. Maybe maybe we actually do also need to then pull this in here. The problem is we won't be able to get the sour gas down to its minus 116 with the polluted oxygen. Because uh, the polluted water, sorry. Because all it will ever do is a... a, a attain equilibrium with the temperature it's going down to which here is no lower than zero so i've heard people on forums uh using liquid reservoirs do we have a small liquid reservoir one of these ah it's big somewhere about here you know what we could totally do that let's do one of those let's do the plumbing coming up and into here 
before it then spills out like that and then we get rid of this and these and then all the liquids should mix in the reservoir and hopefully uh, achieve like a homogenous state before passing it on Let, let's try that and see how that goes i think i'd also like to put a couple of tiles under there just just for looks you know Okay, the destruction and the digging has been done. Thankfully, now Miss Lion's come along to do all the other jobs as well. As much as she likes just blowing stuff up, she can do the other things as well. The liquid reservoir might take a little while to get done. It's one of these things that's going to require some uh, aluminium ore. Okay, that's that's cool. Uh, is the job being done well? I, I, I'm hoping so. Oh, we have the materials over here. That's even better. Beautiful. Now, has Frank been able to uh, put the pipes back into place? We've got some there and some over here. Right, beautiful, beautiful. Now we're just waiting for the actual tank itself. Oh, even though Miss has quite a few building skills, it's not her favourite job, so it takes her literally twice as long as it would Frank to do this. Uh, hopefully, it's not going to waste the entire cycle. You can see we're going through a little bit faster than normal because, man, I want to get this done. Particularly, I want to see what happens when the water goes into here. It's all mixing and then coming out the other side. Okay, that's beautiful. Uh, I'm going to just watch this for a second and see what temperature we end up uh, leaving with here. Okay, we're just clearing through the backlog of all the water that got... Uh, backed up of course whilst we were building the the liquid reservoir but now we're going to see whether it is flowing nicely i'm expecting all of it to just kind of get in there yeah okay that's that's cool and then we're going to meet up again with we should have this amount of flow coming in along this line here uh, but there does seem to be a few issues, but they'll they'll sort themselves out. The issues, of course, coming from the fact that this line and this line are different lengths. I see that. I'd like to call this process additive engineering. You know, I make a system and then I find out what's wrong with it. And then I add a bit to try and fix that. And then I find out what's wrong with that. And then I add a little bit to fix that. So, you know, additive engineering its the way of the future, guys. Probably not. One thing I am tempted with is more liquid, because obviously we're not building up polluted water in there. We are literally just passing through enough to pass through. So I'm going to put put that, that, um, put that liquid bridge in. Nice. Lo, you think you can go to bed at the end of the day? Not until this final job is finished. Ah, uh, nighttime actually came along to ruin my fun. Whoa. All right, there we go. Liquid bridge in place. I'm not sure how long we're going to be running this for. As I say, it would really have been a much better idea to run this on uh, uh, an auto shutoff valve on and off and then give it some sort of um, automation system. I'm not sure what that would have been. It probably would have actually just been a switch or maybe some sort of clock. No, it would have been a switch. Uh, but OK, we're going to just let this fill in. And I'm not sure how much we want to have water in, how much water we want to have in here. But I definitely want to build a little bit up. It's not going to work the way I thought. Um, because we've only got one pipe in. Mm, okay, we literally have to try and stop the system for a bit and let it build up in there. I mean, I do know how to do that, but I don't really want to. Okay, well, we'll do it. Deconstruct. High priority. Let's do it. Let's build this up. Come on, Forrest. Where you at? Okay, a small polluted water spillage. I'm all right with that. No big problems. Too much liquid down there. Oh, hey, Captain Subs. What are you doing down there? Did you just fix that? Nice man. Nice man. All right, cool. Uh, we... Actually, you know what? We're, we're good. We're not over temperature. That's nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, how cool is it throughout all of this place? Uh, it's pretty hot down below in the carbon dioxide, but the sour gas, that's nice and chill now. Cool. Okay, so we've got kilograms building up in there. That's nice, that's nice. Somewhere to share the, the temperatures around is really what we're going for. And then this insulated pipe here. Can we put that back together, please? I'm not going to put the, uh, the emergencies on because it's not really an emergency. It'll give us enough time to build up some extra liquids. Also, whilst that's going on, I suppose we could also now deconstruct it. I don't know, I don't know. We'll, we'll wait until all the pipes are built. What are you doing, Luna? Oh, she's doing that. Okay, the next thing I want to do is try and figure out how to open... Where are we? Over here. Try and open these things. It's gotta be a setup. If I if I just change these to below, ah, the problem is you're just there as that. Okay, does that open it? No, that doesn't open it. How about you as well, Mr. White? Uh, above? There we go. Okay, so that opens us up. That wasn't really what we wanted to have, but that's cool. And there we go. Hey, some liquids. I, I kind of don't want it to be on the setting it's on, but let's do that, that, and this, and see how long it takes someone to come along. Oh, no, that wasn't quite what I wanted. I mean, it's going to work. It's going to work. Oh, no, it's not going to work. Okay, all right. Uh, let's just put this to above zero. There we go. It's always going to be above zero, right? We were just on the edge. So what happened there is I said above eight, and then one guy dropped down here, remembering this is a separate room from this one, uh, dropping the number down below. And that that's not what we're after. All right, who is on this? Where Errands? No, no one? Okay, let's just make it a top priority. Cubic, my man, what are you doing? Where are you at? 
Okay, liquid in place. Is it going to be too much? I don't know. Let's put this back on an eight. Bam, if you can. Uh, and let's put... Oh, good, goodbye, Mr. Hatch. Goodbye. And if below one. There we go. Okay, well, we got a small layer of water over here. I don't think that's too much of a trouble. Decipher's coming along to try and fix this for us. Uh, that's pretty nice, but we really need to try and figure out what's going on with this guy as well. And also, whilst we're talking about it, what's going on down here? Do we have a lot of water? We've got 28 kilos spreading all that water around. We've got down to about 24 degrees, and because of that, this is not triggering, which means this aqua tuna is not turning on, and this steam is not warming up. But we are, however, chilling everything with our 25 degrees being spread around. I, th I think we could probably act Actually, now that we've got a nice little um, evening system here, maybe push this down to 20 again. I think it would be great if everything got down to about 9 degrees. That, that would be beautiful. Oh dear, I forgot to break the uh, the liquid bridge and now we're just building up. And I, uh, I'm actually going to have to hit red alert for this because everybody's in bed. Uh, but I don't want to overwhelm the system. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. The first night we've actually had to hit red alert. First time we've had to to hit red alert uh i i have hit i have hit it before but not because we needed it no not indeed all right come on mimi you are the one keeping everyone awake and it's not quite true i'm the one keeping everyone awake but we need to get this little little bridge here broken before we uh, back up this entire system and it all starts having a little bit of a bad time because it's it's already not doing amazingly well if i'm to be honest it's uh, it definitely needs some work okay here comes mimi to do the good thing please break break that all right now we uh, turn that back off Good night, dear Duplicant. Sleep well for your remaining less than an hour. <laughs> yeah, we've got a bit of mild combat on the go here. I'm not that worried about it, if I'm to be honest. What I am worried about is how to get this door open again. So I thought a below 20 would give a, a yes. Uh, what about this? Above, I want below 64 there as well. All right, beautiful. Now this, you can see that we've already got it saying, hey, can you give us some ethanol? You might be like, hey, where are you getting ethanol from? But of course, we've just spilled a load of ethanol over here. So it should be fine to go along and pick up these bottles that I have mopped. Uh, and and turn it into a uh, beautiful beautiful killing juice Mwah. Okay, so we put a whole bunch more ethno in here, so we are killing them with alcohol. It, it's bad for your livers, guys. It's bad for your livers. you got to watch out for it. Uh, hopefully now we can just mop up all this mess uh, and tidy up. You can see Luna over this side mopping up the mess that we made over here. It's quite a bit of mess, quite a bit of mess. Thankfully, we've got all these... Uh, these uh, slicks down here looks like they are doing very well at eating all the material all the carbon dioxide up uh, we must be turning it all straight into petroleum to be uh, to be uh, burnt off as fuel hmm we might be running into a bit of an issue right now in the next two three cycles let's call it this one stops being dormant but this one's already gone dormant so we have lost our power coming from the steam and if we come over to this one over no, no this one down here uh this is going to be dormant very soon as well and to the point of we are losing power uh we've got power coming through this closed system here but going out to the main grid heavy watt wire let's have a look at the energy uh we are consuming exactly what we are producing which is not enough, not enough. So now that we've balanced all of that, my next amazing trick will be try and figure out what we're going to have for these duplicants over there. I want to go to the room overlay because it tells me some nice little information over here. We already have a barracks, but I would like to set up some bedrooms. You see that we do that without any cots and we need to make it at least 12 tiles big, but no more than six. Uh, 64. Uh, is it only a single? Yeah, single comfy bed. That is the main thing we need to worry about. And of course, a decor item. Now, I'm not going to put one bedroom per floor. I don't think that's the way forwards because you know, as, as fun as that would be, if we had people all the way up here, they would have to make their way down here and all the way across here. And that would be just as slow as coming out of all of this. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is actually set them up in groups of three. Yeah, I think we'll have four groups of three. That does, of course, mean we'll have some room for extra people. But the way that I'm actually gonna do it is to come in with a shower oh i love i love building on the side of the map here we're gonna start with a shower and then we're gonna have three toilets bam 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 like so and then we're going to also have where is the sink it's not in there uh in the medicine tab here sink i'm gonna go one two can't put that there three and that is our giant bathroom that is gonna work for all the duplicates on the single floor okay so we then want to put in some sort of uh doorway system let's put this one in here okay that should work out pretty well for us as well uh we're gonna obviously be having insulated tiles all the way across the bottom because you know 
It's cold down here, is it? Yeah, it, it used to be cold down here. It is still, it's cold up here as well. Ah, oh, this is gonna, it's gonna take some work. But anyway, uh, once we've got that, we then need to have the bedrooms. Let's go and put those down. I want to have some insulative tiles down. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna go with five and six. Uh, that's one more than it needs to be because we're gonna go four up and of course, Five fours are actually 20. That's much more than it needs to be. That we'll, we'll go with that anyway. Uh, let's go with one of these over here. I'm mostly going to have these doors open. I might even make them the other door. The, uh, wh which one is it called here? The pneumatic door. I, um... I don't think that opens under air power, but okay, whatever. We will go with it. So this is going to be our standard bedroom unit. Let's have a look in here. We're going to have a comfy bed over this way. Uh, maybe have ourselves a wall pot on this side over here. That meets all the specifications. Why doesn't it want to stick there? Because it doesn't have a tile to stick to. Okay, we'll put it there instead. That's fine. I don't mind. Uh, I would also like to put in, uh, because, you know, it's fun. We'll put one of those there with a automation and a clock. Where is the clock? Oh, it's right, it's literally staring me in the face. Uh, and a clock sensor up here, because, you know, they want to have a clock as well. We will connect the two together to make sure that we're not having too much light at night, but still illumination to help them get up during the day, because we will not have our duplicates over sleeping. Maybe we want to actually do a hanging light rather than the light on the floor here. Uh, let's try it, let's try it. Let's, uh, let's, let's experiment with some styles here. All right, it's expensive with the automation wire, but I think that'll do. I think that'll look pretty funky there. Uh, so we would then just, like, copy this out changing maybe the decor items with every step or something uh well, i want to do three of those and that will bring us out to about here where we will then do oh i'm a little bit worried that we're going to run into this stuff over here but it's no big a problem um so yeah we'll do a couple of bedrooms further on let me do, let me just slam those down you know what, there's a few reasons for it, not least of which is the light coverage, but I think I'm going to just shrink this room down a little bit here. Also, so we can actually like, fit everyone in. Oh, it's still a 5 by 4 even after I shrunk it. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, three little bedrooms. Unfortunately, I couldn't put this last wall part over, over on this side, but that's no problem. All right, the next thing that I want to have is some stations. We oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. We were going to then have... Sorry, my bad, my bad. I'm just going to see how this works. We want to have three metal. Boom, 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 just like that. Okay, that should be cool. I'm wondering, actually whether we could do a giant one on the other side of the atmospheric suits, but I don't think that's the way to go forward. We don't actually have a giant, uh, a great hall at the moment. Uh, so actually, no, I think we do have a great hall at the moment. Um, I will go and just, hey, let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a look all the way over this way. Let's have a look. What do we have? Uh, I need the room, sorry. Thank you very much. This counts it as a, no, just a mess hall. What are we missing for the great hall? Size, blatantly size. Okay, all right, that, 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 that's a problem, but mm, not a big problem, especially when like we could get rid of these and then just spew up that way, and then we'd have a great hall over here. That that would just be, you know, for the lowly people we bring in over here. I don't know what that would be for, but it would be for having all the rooms on the map, right? Now, man, there's always a plant somewhere to come along and ruin my day, but if I go, go up here a little bit, I can show you what I wish to do. We'll have the atmospheric checkpoint over here, and then we go one, two, three, and that should be fine. In fact, that's one too far over, but yeah, you, you know what I'm saying, right? You know what I'm saying. Okay, I'm gonna let this roll for a little bit and let these guys build this first unit. Hopefully, you know, super... No, not that, that high priority. I didn't know that I could do that from the hotkeys. Okay, look, I've got the uh, the nine and then the exclamation marks. Turns out that's a zero. But yeah, I really want all this. Uh, you might be asking why have I done the bathrooms down this end? I don't know if you are or not. But not only does it mean a restricted number of uh, duplicates can access it and then therefore we make sure we've got like the one per duplicate situation going on, but only one shower for some reason because I'm a sadist, I don't know. But also we could then set up down below here the um, liquid exchange like we have over this way where we uh, warm up and cool down the the bath water to try and try and keep the germs somewhat under control you know i've made grave grave errors this here this here and this one here they definitely want to be carpet tile right maybe maybe this lot as well yeah mm, we only got 10 reed fiber it's two ago so we can do one of these guys all right well you you get to be the happy camper and the others we're just gonna go with obsidian Floor? I think that's probably a bad idea. Let's go with granite floors instead. I mean, we've still technically here got all of these oxygenated and more oxygen coming through. I, I, th I think we could totally put another atmosphere dock down the end here. Uh, maybe we're starting to push it a little far, but to be honest, I kind of want to know what pushing it is here. Uh, of course, all of this is just 
sort of semi-temporary. Eventually, we're going to start ripping all of this back out to allow the duplicates through. Uh, but, you know, it's just... It's nice to see how many we can support at once, right? That's that's something. That's a little bit of knowledge I would like to have. With the steam geyser dormant for the next 31 cycles and all these weeds warts exposed to all this hydrogen, I wonder how cold it's gonna get in here. It'd be nice to see some super low temperatures. I'm not sure how how low the weeds warts can actually go. Minus 60 sounds about right, though. Okay, we seem to have this beautiful little system worked out here where Mr. Lines go along and digging up all this front stuff here and everyone else is coming along and filling in the uh, the furniture at the back. Of course, downtime comes along as I start talking because I've noticed the wonders that have happened during the day. Really need to learn to get on top of that. But yeah, it's getting quite a, quite a bit of this done here. We've, in fact, got the first bed that we can assign, but I'm not going to go ahead and do that. One thing I do want to know, though, is does it count? It does indeed as a bedroom. Woo! And the work crew begins for another day. Look at this. Ah, oh, this is amazing. Really do need that more carpet, but that's all down to these drecks over here. So we're going to have to just kind of live with it. We've got quite a few eggs and stuff, but it's just not, not working as well. Uh, they all seem to be pretty happy. Ah, oh, this guy's cramped, though. Mm, going to have to work on that. These uh, these dreckler eggs are really probably the problem. Uh, we could we could build another kill chamber over here, though. They, they seem to work out quite well. Ah, nice. We got rid of that pinch of pepper, so we can put this down and then go into the station we can find ourselves an atmospheric suit dock. Uh, also, I have replaced these uh, insulative tiles underneath the pneumatic doors with airflow tiles so that we have somewhere for the carbon dioxide to go. That That's going to be a must at some point. We also need to figure out where some vents are going to go, but there's like, you know, space here, there's space there, plenty of space around, or we could even just flood like this area. In fact, if we're going to do it, we'd want to flood this back area with oxygen so that it carries on through. I just thought we can totally make this a great haul. If we can press these three down together and then have some ladders going up and down uh we could make this all one space you might be like oh but what happens when they like try and run in and they can go through ends like say whoever's sleeping down here comes in through the top door goes down the ladder and through this way isn't that a problem yeah if i didn't then go through and put the, um, the access to whoever i want on these doors i think that would probably be a very very awesome way of trying to deal with that and then still getting the great hall in place yeah yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. I am gonna try it. Oh no, oh no, what have I done? Ah, oh, okay, alright, 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 we gotta stop this, right? Destroy, destroy these, like right, that. That is priority number one. Like, just whoever, whoever is there. Misaligned. Now, do it, do it, do it. Uh, and then this one down here as well. It's It's gotta be destroyed before you guys get there. Ah, Mad Frank, I need you to get back up here now. Okay, so, no, it's not solved. It's not solved! Ah! <laughs> Move to here, and then hopefully turn around and do, do the business. All right, all right. I was really going to hit the roof then if you'd actually walked down that, that little bit there somehow. I would have been like, how? Just how? But thankfully, we have gone ahead and we have made the situation much more tenable. I uh, just need to... We'll tidy all this up now, really. Just need to tidy all this up. Why does Miss think this is unreachable? Hey, hey, Miss, Miss, you you there. Can you move down here for me, please? You can't because the, do the suit's not there. How do I make you wear that? You do that like that. Okay, let's turn... Uh, let's disable that. That's a very important thing as well. Let's see if we can get that running. Um, hopefully she's going to put that on. Okay, all right. She's going to do that first. And then she's going to put the suit on. Is that a thing? No, we just, we're just going to walk around like that. All right. Fine. <sighs> That's not what I want. Why is she... Why, is, why are you not getting in there, miss? What's going on? All right. How about if instead we go, hey, deliver suit, deliver suit. Maybe, maybe that will work for us. <laughs> oh, miss. You're... You're such a glutton for your work. I don't know. I don't know why you're doing this though. Just go and get, go and get your atmosphere suit. Ah, oh, downtime's here, but with the layout of our first dormitory floor collect we're complete. So well, downtime's here, but with the first floor of our dormitory complete, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Today we went round and we made everything all balance up well and started work on our dormitory project, but. We have run out of time and I need to get on with other things. I will see you guys next time when we're going to hook up the utilities and get the rest of the dormitories finished. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.